Hello friends and fellow drivers, OG Transporter 828 here. Okay, look, this is a great opportunity for me to show you something, give you what I call object lessons, right? Um, here's what happens. When you're on a two lane, well, when you're on a road like this, an interstate like this, which happens to be Interstate 15, I'm headed southbound uh, towards Barstow, California. And what happens is, it's a Saturday, and it happens to be, oh, about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Here's what happens. If, as a new driver, if you bring with you into the trucking industry four-wheeler habits, and those four-wheeler habits that you bring in were questionable to start with. For instance, if you were a person who drove a car and you tailgated all the time, and you bring that set of experience into your computer controlled truck where you're not manually shifting the truck and, and working that truck but you're letting the computer do the shifting of the uh, transmission you're going to tailgate your truck also all the way up to the point where you run into somebody and possibly kill them right um so, what you want to do is leave a lot of room, at least a truck length. Now, right now, I'm one truck length away from that Honda Pilot that's right there in front of me, okay? Uh, that's what that is. It's a Honda Pilot. It's right there in front of me. I'm one truck length away from that, right? And that gives me more than enough time to do what I need to do as far as uh, managing things, where I can look in my number one lane over there I can look and see completely clear down that shoulder on the other side all the way down there you can see down there too see that right so you want to be able to do that and if you can't do that you're what you're going to do is paint yourself into a corner because four-wheelers drive in a manner that is completely and absolutely positively unreliable they drive in a manner that's just completely unreliable. You don't know what they're going to do next. Half of them are playing with their phones. The other half are picking boogers out of their nose, right? Oh, wait a minute. Was that describing four wheels or truck drivers? Anyway, let's get back to the real thing here, which is you want to give yourself room. Have a nice cushion. You see that there's a hill that's up there that you're going to be climbing that hill, right? Let's take another look all the way up there, right? see that that's a hill up there you're going to be climbing that hill you're going to be going up that incline and because you're going to be going up that incline you need to plan for it right there are going to be truck drivers who don't plan for that kind of thing there's going to be certainly four wheelers who don't plan for that kind of thing so what you need to do is be ahead of the game make sure that you are handling your business okay and this is how you handle your business you're the professional you are the professional driver. The rest of these uh, knuckleheads are not professional drivers. And I may be talking about someone's loved one. I'm sure I am. Someone's family member. I'm sure I am. But here's the deal. They're not professionals. You are. You're held to the higher standard. If one of these people in a car runs into somebody and the person that they ran into more than likely, they ran into a vehicle that weighed about the same thing that they weighed, right? 3,500, 3,700, 5,000, uh, 5,600 pounds, that kind of thing, right? Okay, uh, SUV to SUV rear ender at 30 miles an hour. What's the big deal? It's not a big problem. When you have a 70,000 pound vehicle moving at 30 miles an hour, if it runs into a stationary SUV. The SUV is crushed in the story. Because the truck's not going to stop because it hit the SUV. One SUV rear-ending another SUV at about 30 miles an hour. That SUV is going to stop. Your truck is not going to stop. Understand that. Please don't forget that. This is how you avoid killing people. This is how you avoid making everybody's life miserable, including your own and those of your family members, okay? So plan your what you're doing. Always have a way out with the road that you're traveling on, and you'll be good to go, okay? 
All right, that's it. That's another free one from your friend, OG Transporter 828. You guys be safe. Enjoy your lives.